So if you're just starting your freelance video production business and you're thinking, okay, so what are the important things after you buy a camera and tripod? I would say it's the lapel kit for sure. As a freelance video production person, a lot of people want to be heard and they want to be heard well. <laughs> if they're not heard well, then your video is not going to look and sound very good. It may look good, but people won't really want to listen much further because the sound is so terrible. A lot of businesses like doing interview style things where they're looking off camera, talking to someone else, or even at a conference, they've got a lapel mic on, they're going to sound great, they can move around everywhere, and they're going to get, you're going to get really good results. So, all your greatest risks are work for. And I've also got the Rode SmartLab, which is a mic that goes into your phone, and that's a much cheaper alternative than doing a wireless solution. However, by having a wireless solution in place, you're getting the confidence that you can monitor the audio and you're going to get good levels. It's not going to be auto gained and really, um, really compressed. The thing that I really like about the Sony lapel kit is that you can power it via a phone adapter. So basically you just plug in one of these to the bottom of it and it'll run forever, especially on one of these big ones like that. And the other thing that I must mention is that you can run them off mains power. So for example, recently I filmed a conference where I had a certain amount of batteries, rechargeable batteries, and I knew that there was going to be multiple speakers and I was running you know, both of my wireless lapel kits and I wanted to save on the amount of batteries. So what I did is once I set up my cameras, I put a power board attached to my tripod and basically just ran USB power cables that are running through the mains power into my lapel uh, receivers, which is these guys. They've just got that little section down there, which you can plug in uh, by USB and then just power it forever. So again, that's an awesome feature of these Sony lapel kits. And I think it's, it's just a really great peace of mind that you don't have to have like a thousand batteries on you if you're doing like an eight hour shoot at a conference or something like that and you need to run multiple uh, wireless lapel mics. So another great feature about getting this wireless XLR adapter is for example if you're recording at somewhere where you have to get a feed from a desk and you have to be mobile but you want to hear that everything's coming in okay. So basically as a you know you might be a one-man band which sometimes happens so if you have one of these guys you can get a XLR and plug it into the mixing desk and you can hear and you're not running cables along the ground. You don't have to gaffer everything. It's really quick to set up and you can just set it to line level and you're going to get a fantastic results. So I've used this method a lot and it's been really fantastic. So that's my recommendation on buying a wireless lapel kit. So basically, if you think that you can't quite afford a wireless lapel kit yet, I've got another video where that just you know, gives you peace of mind that you can invest in the gear. And then once you're done with it or you want to upgrade or maybe uh, you think you don't need it anymore, um, then you can sell it and you can recoup a lot of that cost. So it's like a really, really cheap rental. So you shouldn't have fear around buying something that's like maybe just a, a bit more expensive above what, than what you're thinking of spending. So you can check that video out. And I look forward to sharing more of my experiences and how I've used my gear in my different video production jobs. So learn, create, inspire and have fun.